Did you know that it's okay to copy? I'm serious. That's how artists learn how to draw. Now, let me be clear here. There's a difference between copying or emulating and copying and plagiarizing. So when you're emulating, that means you're trying to do what the other person did to learn from them and to pay tribute. Now, when you're plagiarizing, that means that you're trying to take someone's ideas and claim them as your own. Plagiarism is never okay. But since the beginning of time, artists have been learning from other artists by making what are called master copies. Even when I went to a fancy art college in painting classes, we had to copy famous paintings to learn how that artist made their painting. So I painted an El Greco, I painted a John Singer Sargent. Paintings you're seeing on the screen are my renditions of those famous paintings. As a little kid, now, when I was a kid coming up, my favorite cartoon characters were Snoopy and Garfield. I learned in the beginning how to draw by copying Charles Schultz's Snoopy and Jim Davis's Garfield. As I got a little bit older into my teen years, I was super into superhero comics. So Batman and Spider-Man and the Ninja Turtles. And so what I would do is I'd take a look at all of those superheroes in the comics and I would try to draw them. So I mean, I would draw them on these big poster boards. Like this is a drawing I made of Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles. And this is another favorite character, Spider-Man, and clearly copied, emulated from Todd McFarlane, who uh, was super famous for Spider-Man when I was a teenager. So whoever your favorite cartoon characters are, take a look at the artwork you're seeing in your comics and try to draw them. Try to mimic what that artist did, because eventually you will find your art style by continuing to draw and draw and draw and you will eventually have your own thing. And then you could later cite those early cartoons as your influences, as I often do with Garfield and Snoopy and Batman and Spider-Man.